Hello. Do you need help with your listening skills in English? I think you may do. Um, today, I'm going to teach you how to improve your listening skills, but it's going to be fun because you're going to do it when you go shopping. Who likes shopping? Good. Good. Yeah. Shopping. Wow. So exciting. Um, so you're going to go shopping. You're going to improve your listening skills and three in one today. It's on sale. You're going to learn how to understand all oh, those native speakers. So crazy. Don't understand. Um, so if you go shopping or you actually buy something, you have to go to a cashier. Or if you're going shopping for food, you're going to go to the checkout. Now, in my city of Toronto, our lovely government has put a five cent tax on a simple plastic bag. So if I want a bag, I now have to pay five cents. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Ronnie, five cents? And I say, yes, five cents. One nickel, there's a beaver on it. I am not going to give the government five cents. It's my five cents. I will put things in my pocket and carry it in my shirt before I give someone five cents. Yes. Yes, I am that cheap. <coughs> so when you go shopping, especially at a grocery store in Toronto, they're going to ask you this question. They're going to say, <clears throat> do you want a bag? What? <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know. Sure. Okay. Do you need a bag? Jim? Jim bag? Jim? I'm not Jim. What? What's going on? What? what yeah. You have no idea what this person said to you, and they're standing there like, you're not. What's happening? So I know probably automatically you would say, uh, yes, five cents right out of your pocket, gone. <gasps> Maybe you need five bags. That, ladies and gentlemen, is 25 cents. You get more of those, that's one dollar? That's a lot of money for Ronnie. So, what they really are saying to you, but they speak so quickly, and they are native speakers, is, <clears throat> do you want a bag? Or, do you need a bag? But, of course, they don't say, do you need a bag? Do you want a bag? They're going to say this. Do ya wanna bag? Do you want a bag? Do you want a bag? Do you want a bag? Your turn. Do you want a bag? Do ya wanna bag? Do you want a bag? Do you want a bag? Do you want a bag? You say, no. I brought my own bag, thank you. Or they might use the verb need. It's the same idea, except instead of saying wanna, you're, they're going to say nida. So they're going to say, do you need a bag? Do you need a bag? Do you need a bag? No, they say, do you need a bag? You're trying. You're, you're trying. Do you need a bag? Do you need a bag? So, first step is done. Now, at this point, if I were you, I would just want to get out of the store with my beautiful cupcakes and eat them. But no, they're going to ask you more questions that you don't know the answer to and hope that you could just buy things on the internet. Um, they're going to ask you because they're very nosy. Do you have Uh... Do you have an Optum card? Do you have a points card? Do you have a Sobis card? Do you have a Target card? You got a Sears card? What? 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 So, do you, they can either say, do ya? Or really, really fast, do ya? Do ya? So it's going to sound like this. Do ya? So they might say to you, do you have earmuffs? 
Jeff, Jeff. So we actually take out the H. You say Jeff. Do you have air miles? Air miles is a point card. It has an airplane on it. That if you buy enough products at one store or many various stores, you can, by some stroke of imagination and luck, fly on an airplane for free. I don't have enough points to do this because I always forget my stupid card. And they say, do you have air miles? And I say, yes. So they're waiting for me to, I was like, I don't have it here. I do have one though. So it's pretty frustrating for me. An optimum card. Uh, there's a really big, huge, beautiful supermarket that's actually a drugstore in Ontario called Shoppers Drug Mart. It has everything. Um, I understand in most countries a drugstore only has drugs. Woo! Our Shoppers Drug Mart have everything. Cosmetics, food, uh, snacks, cleaning supplies, toilet paper, everything you want right there. Except for drugs. <clears throat> there's no drugs there. They have something called an optimum card. So, an optimum card or a points card or a store card. For example, if you go shopping at the very <laughs> wonderful store of Target, and I am being sarcastic, they're going to say, Java. Java Target card? Kind of sounds like this now. Java. Java Air Miles, Java Optimum Card, Java Points Card, Java Target Card. Most of the time you're going to say no, but if you're lucky enough to have one of these cards, you can earn three points and yay and fantastic. You're going to have to fill out a form and write your name and then, oh God, it's troublesome, it's troublesome, but you might be able to get points. So safe is best, safe is bet. Do you want a bag? No. Uh, do you have No. Do you have a point card? No. No, no, no. So first two questions. No and no. Yes. We're almost done shopping. I'm really hungry. I just want to eat what I bought. The next thing they're going to ask you is credit or debit. Excuse me? Credit or debit? Are you, did you just... Yeah? There? No? Credit or debit. Or they're going to say, are you going to use credit or debit? Are you going to use credit or debit? <laughs> uh, here, take my money. Leave me alone. I just want to eat these cupcakes. So, credit or debit. In English, we never bother to say or. What we do is we take out this or and we say creditor. Credit or debit. This is a general rule when we put two words together. We never, ever, ever say the or. We always stick er or er on the last or the first word as an example if maybe it's friday and you'd like some fish um no sorry <laughs> fish what <laughs> maybe you're on an airplane and the the stewardess comes with a cart and says uh chicken or beef chicken or chicken or chicken or beef chicken or beef chicken or beef you go uh chicken beef what so when we say this in English, we never say the or. We always say er. So they're going to say credit or debit. This means, are you going to use a credit card like a Visa or MasterCard or American Express? Or are you going to use a debit? Now, a debit is a bank card. So maybe you have a bank account. I hope so. If you do, send me some money. <laughs> and you have a debit card. So they're going to say credit or debit. Or they might use a longer sentence and they might say, are you going to use credit or debit? But they say, are you gonna? So, are ya gonna use? Are you gonna use? Are you gonna use? Are you gonna use credit or debit? Are you gonna use credit or debit? Your chance, try. Are you gonna use? Are you gonna use credit or debit? So then you go, oh, I don't know, just bring it through. Just debit card, done. The other thing, the easier thing if you want to, is 
you just wave some cash or some money in front of their face. They don't even have to ask you. You go, oh, oh, cupcakes, okay? The easiest thing is to use cash. I personally don't ever have cash. I always use a debit card, so yeah, it's a little bit more difficult, but I'm lucky I can understand these native speakers. Now, the last bothersome question they will ask you is, do you want or do you need a, or they might say the receipt? Now, first of all, the way that we say this word is really crazy. It looks like recipiti. Would you like a recipiti? But we actually say the word like this, receipt. So they're going to say to you, do you want the receipt? Do you need a receipt? For this one, I guarantee you, the best thing to say for this is, oh yes, yes please. So, no, no, debit, yes please. Smile, cupcakes, eat, happiness, glory. Um, they're not going to say, do you want the receipt or do you need the receipt? They're going to go back to this one. Do ya? Or Java. No, they wouldn't say Java. They'd say do ya. Okay? So do you want? Like this one would say do you wanna? Do you want a receipt? Do you need a receipt? So it's just like the very first question. Do you wanna? Or do you need a? If they say the, they're going to say do ya? Want the. Do you want the? Do you want the receipt? It depends on if it's a receipt or the receipt. It's all articles. Do you want a receipt? Do you need a receipt? Do you want the receipt? Do you need the receipt? So this one is going to be sound like need da. Do you need a receipt? Do you like shopping? I hate it, but it is necessary. My hobby is going to supermarkets. So I actually like grocery shopping, but sometimes it's very annoying and inconvenient when I just want to get out of the supermarket and eat my cupcakes or whatever I've bought. And the cashier asks me these crazy questions. No, no, debit, yes, thank you, bye. Please say thank you at the end of all the transactions. It makes the person working have a better day. And if you don't understand what someone has asked you, try not to get angry, hmm, <laughs> advice. Just ask them to repeat it. But. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes, works well. Goodbye, happy shopping.